Darby, thank you. Certainly looking dry and crispy out there. It's dried off in the last little bit. Now covering St. George tonight for the high temperatures headed over the triple digits this weekend. We're thinking it's possibly going to be over 110 degrees. It is going to be hot this weekend. Yeah, fire crews say the heat can be even more dangerous on days like today when it's not quite as hot as it was the day before. Our Paul Nelson has more from a very warm and toasty St. George tonight. Medics here in St. George say they see a lot of people making the same mistakes when it comes to overheating and needing medical attention. Plus, they also say many people underestimate how dangerous the heat can be on days like this when it's not quite as hot. Even on the hottest of days, some people still have to work outside. Santos Carinos owns a construction and framing company, and his crews have to battle the triple-digit heat. We usually set up plywood on the roof, and create little shade areas if we don't have trusses up, um, lots of water ice. But he says one popular method of cooling off can backfire. He's watched as workers poured cold water on their heads only to stay out in the sun and get disoriented later. When the heat starts coming through, it just kind of knocks them back. I've had a lot of guys go home early. Or... By noon, it was only 102 degrees in St. George. Yesterday at 3 p.m., it was around 110. St. George Fire Deputy Chief Brad Esplin says many people make the mistake of thinking that if it's not as hot, it's not as dangerous. People are think, you know what, I'm safe to go out today longer than yesterday because it might be 5 or 10 degrees cooler. No, that's, you need to be prepared either way. The advice for overheating is always the same. Get water, find shade or another cooler environment, loosen your clothing. Firefighters put cold towels around their necks when they're resting, and Esplin says many people overlook the first signs of a heat-related issue. The initial phases are you just feel hot, you can't cool off, and then dizziness sets in, and those are all signs that your body's telling you that something's wrong. Plus, safety experts say a lot of people bring plenty of water with them when they go out in the heat, but that's not enough. They say you need to be well hydrated before you even go outside in heat like this. Paul Nelson, KUTV, 2 News.